What's up guys, Jason Greenberg back with another video. It's been about a year and I have a very special package today. So if you guys remember from about two years ago, I did a review and unboxing of this amazing winter jacket by Triple Fat Goose. This is the Park Chester jacket, vintage, you know, hockey jacket vibe. But today they reached out to me, or they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and they sent me another jacket for review. This one, totally different style than this Park Chester right here. This one's very loud, bold, angular. This one right here, which is the Downing Men's Parka, is totally different style, but something that actually I am really needing in my wardrobe, especially now, as you can see, with the cold, cold weather I got right now in New York. And yeah, let's just get straight into this. Testing out this iPhone 13, 4K, 30 frames a second. Shout out to my boy, Chris, Christopher Kites, for the cool keychain. Put his Instagram down below. So hopping into the jacket, let's open this box up. Ooh, it's pretty big. Oh my God. Oh, and another uh, little dust bag. I forgot I got this with my Park Chester jacket. Really huge travel dust bag for it. Really love that. Here's just a quick look at the details of the little travel bag. As you can see with the logo right there, triple fat goose. Nice white, just, you know, cotton with a zipper. Honestly, at a quick glance, looks like a little pillowcase, but it's perfect for traveling. So here we go with the actual jacket right here. It's actually got some good weight to it. Look at that. Triple Fat Goose Downing Men's Parka. I got this in a size medium. This Park Chester jacket I also am wearing in a size medium. I am, for reference, 5'9 and a half, about 150 pounds. Okay guys, so it's about that time. I'm about to swap out the Park Chester jacket. One last look. And the good thing is that this material is completely waterproof, so I had it on the snow and it's totally dry. Ooh, this one has the thumb holes. I actually never owned a jacket that's like this long before that requires me to like hunch over to zipper it. Oh wow. I can tell you right now, this thing is nice. Honestly, all these materials feel super premium, extremely water resistant. It's just flaking the snow right off. This jacket has a bunch of pockets. We got the two regular ones that your hands will naturally fall on. You got these going vertical deep ones that are like slightly lined with this like felty material, really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna get my iPhone 13 Pro Max as you can see in the Apple case put it in here No problem. I could honestly think I could fit two of these in this one pocket One thing I saw on the promo was the pockets up here You can like press your hands in like this which it looked a little weird when I was looking at their website because like it's so high up but it actually does kind of naturally feel pretty good and it has that felted material on the inside. The one thing I was wondering about this jacket in terms of like features is like, I think all their jackets have this like signature inner left pocket right here. Here on the Park Chester jacket, you do have that same inner pocket, but this one had a built-in whistle as you can see. And one thing I didn't even uh, notice about this jacket was that it has these little inner pull tabs right here to tighten or loosen I guess the waist 
So it's just like a little more tapered at the waist. Personally, I don't think I need to do this. Like the whole jacket on its own without this feels like a really nice, just puffy, like just warm layer. Like just kind of like a cloud around you. And you don't even really notice it around the waist. And this kind of just adds a little bit of tightness around it. I, I personally don't like it, but it's a cool feature. Definitely a very versatile jacket. Now the last thing I haven't checked out yet is actually this really cool designed hood with a little like brim on top. Whoa. Now we're talking. And it also has little pull tabs right here if you want to make the hood smaller, but I personally don't think I'm going to need to do that. But here's just a quick look. The main reason I picked out this jacket was because of the functionality and the style. This matte black kind of tech wear winter arctic vibes it's just really fashionable as well as being extremely warm and uh good for these conditions and this was like my biggest gripe about the park chester jacket is that it didn't have a proper hood like with the park chester it has like this really nice padded collar but inside the collar is actually like a really uh thin small like uh wrapped up hood uh, you can see in like a in my previous unboxing of that jacket i mean it kind of just looks weird and I, I love that jacket i've been wearing it non-stop for the past two years well at least when it's cold out but it's just not a it looks kind of weird but this is like a very functional and like looks cool kind of hood and this be helpful with the rain and stuff with the brim you know so i'm really happy about this and i was actually wondering if this jacket was going to be warmer than the park chester jacket because that thing is actually really really warm but as you can tell this is much longer much more like you know that sleeping bag jacket kind of vibe this is actually going to be one of my new go-to jacket in the city i recently just moved to new york city a couple months ago and i'm, I'm doing a school right now but i think on the side i'm going to start doing some uh, door dashing or being a dasher i have a boosted board as you can tell from my previous videos and i love riding around the city and i always wear that jacket the park chester jacket because it's extremely warm but it's getting even colder out and riding the board is like, it can be a bit much in terms of the cold. So this is gonna be perfect, especially with that extra length of the jacket. It's a little more like, you know, toned down more of that, you know, black on black New York aesthetic, but I'll always have a special place in my heart for the Park Chester jacket. But this Downing Men's Parka is something special. Hey guys, if you're interested in this jacket, uh, I'll definitely have a link down below. They offer a bunch of really nice jackets as well, ranging from this kind of style with the Downing Men's Parka or, you know, the Park Chester more flashy look. I'm not going to go too much into the specifics. This video is more just an unboxing and to show you how it fits on me and my genuine reaction. I am actually so pleased with this jacket. I want to say a big thank you to Triple Fat Goose for sending me this product and just trusting me to review something of so high quality one something they've been working on for so long i actually i keep saying actually like it's a surprise but <laughs> this is a really really nice product and if you guys are looking for a a new really high quality winter coat if you're living in even way colder conditions than i'm in in new york right now maybe you're in upstate new york or even like canada or something like that this is definitely a brand you should look into it's kind of up there in price but like way cheaper than you know some of the other goose brands that's about gonna wrap up this video um it's been a while since i've been on youtube but i'm back i will try to make some more videos here and there i got another really special video coming up on a new very special pair of rick owens follow me on instagram you would already seen them but yeah video coming soon on that and that's about gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching jason gruber signing out peace